Ring Roller Coaster 3 is the final ring roller coaster exercise in our curriculum at Leahy. It follows the same format and rules as Ring Roller Coaster 1 and 2, uh, but provides an even more difficult uh, course that the rings must travel around the wire. We again use the right hand grabbing the ring in the anterior portion and with the hand pronated. You'll see in the hand view in the upper left portion of the screen that we are grabbing the Da Vinci hand controls with just the tips of our fingers, again giving us as much range of motion as we can as we make our way through this course. Keeping the camera view close as well as in the center of our working field really helps to minimize the small collisions on the wire. And you'll see that frequent adjustment of the camera is necessary in order to prevent any additional collisions. When experiencing a collision, which could cause a penalty, trying to correct for that uh, is much easier when you're on a more straight or linear path versus on one of the curves or angles of the wire course. You'll see that as we come to this two right angle turns, we have a collision, but again, correct it once we get over that turn. Navigating the two curves in this portion requires a full turn of the hand with the wrist articulation. And here you can see a few collisions which will cause a minor penalty and may suggest that our camera could have been closer or in a better position. Success on this exercise entails using the tips of your fingers on the hand controls, maximizing the full range of motion with the wrist articulation, and good camera coordination.